Restoration in Sand Point, Idaho. Yep, so Mark and I are actually neighbors. We could meet for lunch midweek if we <laughs> wanted to. So Mark's been here at Billings, Montana with me, and he had a question that I've literally never been asked, I don't think, in all these years. So it'll be interesting. Mark, go ahead and ask me. What is the worst and best experiences you've had in the restoration industry? Okay. <laughs> Um, well, after 21 years, that's a huge, like, I'm, my, my files in my head are going kind of crazy. But off the cuff, just what I could think of up quick would be probably the worst experience that I had was when I was dealing with a hoarder job that it had a fire. I'm not even going to say the state it was in because I don't want to name any names. Um, but they had, the firemen had come in and sprayed. So when I came into the job, it was quite intense. They had lots of pets in the house. So the upstairs was quite a process. There was about 18 inches urine soaked up all the furniture from where the animals were using oh, wow. inside the house. It was, yes, very, by far, hands down, worst experience ever on a job. And uh, in fact, the adjuster offered to pay us, and this was many years ago, like a ridiculous amount of money per hour if we dress up in PPE and go down to the basement to handle it because there was literally stuff floating in the basement. It was horrific, <laughs> really bad. And we turned him down. I told him there was no amount of money he could pay me to get me to do that job. So that was probably my worst experience. The most, I, I don't know if I would say best, uh, but it did turn out to be a wonderful, like, it was the most impactful experience that I ever had on a job was a family that I came into that a fire had started in the garage, lived in this home their entire lives. Um, they had, I believe it was five or six children, and the whole family came and met us. It was out several states away, so we drove like 15 hours one way to get to this job, and when I showed up, they just couldn't handle it emotionally. They're, like They lost 60% of the belongings in their house. It was a very bad fire. And so after about a 15-minute walkthrough with the, the Mr. and Mrs., she broke down in tears and hugged me and said, please help us. And I went through, it was 10 days that took us to do that job. And in the process, I found out why she was having such a hard time was 30 years prior to my showing up on this fire job, they had lost an infant son to SIDS. And her, she, she, she went through that experience with me. She processed that with me on the job. and we're super close friends and we feel like family now and her other children uh we're just like siblings and it was a very moving experience for me and one that probably has shaped well not probably has shaped a lot of what you just went through this last week with me when we talk about the emotions and the relations and how it's the human relationship this is a human to human business that we're in in cleaning restoration and that was probably what I would say was my most impactful job that I've had. And I, to this day, feel blessed that, in fact, she's even said many times, I'm, I'm happy we had the fire because it brought you into my life. So um, it's kind of that cool line of work that you get moments like that that you don't expect. Yeah. Well, thank you for asking me that. That was actually kind of cool to sort of relieve that a little bit and share that with everybody. So. And thanks for being on Ask Anissa. I'll have to be in her by myself. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe to rnrmagonline.com. Uh, be sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. And send me your questions. You know where to send them to, Anissa at firehouseeducation.com. And I just might feature you on next week's Ask Anissa video call.